Hello friends, welcome. So today I have here the Stemperia um, Magic Forest Collection molds. I have to hear the book cover and then a couple of these other uh, embellishments as well as the profile of the uh, fairy girl there. And I'm going to be using this air dry clay. This is, I just had this on hand and um, depending on what kind of result you want depends on, you know, what kind of clay um, you prefer to use. I also have here some uh, water and then parchment paper I'm going to be placing underneath uh, just for easy cleanup. And the water actually helps loosen up the clay so it's like water activated it makes it very very muddy so you don't want to apply too much water like I initially did I applied like a huge amount of water and it got really muddy and messy quick I also have um these other little molds you get these at um I guess like the bakery aisle or like the cooking area or whatnot of all kinds of different stores right i think they have them at like target michael's um they have them at walmart you know these little baking molds and that's pretty much what it is and it comes like this in a silicone uh silicone mold and i wanted also to play around with these and see how the uh, clay works out in there as well and so since this is air drying mold um, it's very important that you let it air dry uh, slowly. I think the, slowly and evenly. Um, and the my end result in this specific video, you're gonna kind of see that. Uh, well, one, I didn't. <laughs> I was kind of impatient, and I didn't want to wait for these molds to dry, and so. Um, yeah, it kind of ends up uh, cracking when I try the first time, but you're going to see that here in a little bit. What I'm using is this little uh, tool. I, I guess this is like one of those uh, cricket tools that, you know, like a little spatula. You can use whatever kind of spatula you have on hand um, to even and smoothen that part out. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing here. Also, for something like more of a flat surface, surface like the book, I think it's a good idea to use like some kind of like a rolly tool um, to flatten it out. And yeah, it's kind of... I was just playing around with this and the kids wanted to help out. And so <laughs> they actually helped me uh, fill in a lot of these molds I'm gonna be doing off camera but I kind of just wanted to show you more so like how I fill them in and again I picked the air dry clay is because this is what we had here uh, the kids were playing with clay and all kinds of things and making little animals with them and so like I just ended up taking some of the clay and using it um, on this I know Stampira does have a like extra uh, light uh, molding clay it's like very flexible and thin uh, again depending on the result that you want if you want it to be like that jelly or flexible or like really thin you may want to go with something like that I kind of want these to be a little more thicker and hardened when it's complete and that's kind of the result that I'm going to get here it's it's going to be hard and it's not going to be flexible once it's completely dry and this specific um this specific clay takes up to two to three days to fully dry and so I'm not able to show you exactly everything in this video. I do end up going over into the next day and I show you later on um, the results of the very next day how everything turns out so stay tuned for that. Also I'm going to be um, going over the giveaway information and the person who won the giveaway and what they'll be getting so also stay tuned for that i'll try to put it in the notes um all the timestamps for everything as well if that's more helpful and so here i'm just mixing the clay with water which like i said it got really muddy and messy so i don't know if i suggest this my thoughts behind doing this was kind of i wanted to pour it in but that's gonna like even take longer and I wanted it to get in all the crevice of her face. And so like I really wanted it to be wet and loose when I had put it in there. And so that was the thoughts behind that. Um, if you want to avoid cracking because this specific uh, molding 
is very um prone to cracking and it it will crack um then you want to make sure that it is applied evenly and that um you kind of get all those cracks and crevices and make sure that it's nice and smoothly when applied and that it dries in a area that is like um you don't want to put it in the freezer because i've seen also people say that they put them in the freezer i'm not sure um, I did end up trying that with one of them. I put it in the freezer and that does not work out. Um, I wouldn't suggest putting it in the freezer. I think just letting it air dry, giving it time and knowing in advance that um, this project does take several days and, you know, it's going to you need to have patience and wait um, because it's not going to be done right away. There's other methods that take a lot um, less time. But yeah, depending on what medium you choose, you're going to need uh, a little more or less time that, you know, it just depends on what you have on hand. And so for this book cover, um, I ended up doing everything this first round with my hands, you know, just applying it there. If you don't want to get messy, you may want to get some gloves. You can see my hands got really, really messy and all that <laughs> goodness. But um I really didn't mind. I actually like feeling, you know, the texture of everything on my hands. This is very easy to clean off your hands and there's no real smell to it or anything. It's just like playing with Play-Doh, you know, it's it's safe, it's not toxic. So um so yeah, this is, you know, it's okay to get messy with your hands unless you don't like the feeling or anything like that or, or the mess you may want to put some gloves on also it did kind of get in my nails and if you have nails and you don't want that on your nails I mean it, it comes off with soap and water very easily so so this part I would suggest like one of those rolling pins you know that you uh, roll with the, you know bread or anything you know in the kitchen or if you don't want to use anything in your kitchen specifically uh, for this project, you can use a, a soda can or whatever you have, anything like round like that, like a cylinder, um, you can use to roll that out. I just um, ended up using my hands here, but um, later on, I think it does end up cracking because it was very thin and very fragile. And this specific mold clay, it needed to be a little thicker in certain areas so you want to make sure that it is nice and evenly uh, distributed throughout and I think when you use the rolly pin that really helps do that and make sure that it's you know nice and flat and goes even and so my next time I went around and did it I actually put a lot thicker of a, a layer in just so that it doesn't happen because it does end up warping a little bit as well and so now I'm just gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go into the giveaway and last month I did this giveaway and this is just my appreciation to say thank you for all of those who have been supporting me in my journey and the giveaway is just everything that I've made in my last couple of videos right like it, everything that I made in the month of April and if you commented under any of those posts I mean on any under any of those um videos then you were um you know entered in the giveaway as well and so these tags I made in one of the videos, I think this was the um, summer theme tags. We also did an event on these. Most of these uh, items that are in here, we did an event in the Facebook group for. And so, so yeah, it's um, all part of uh, the fun and everything that I created in the last uh, couple months since I've started this channel. And this here i made in the wax seal video all things wax seal so you can go ahead and check that out i'm gonna go ahead and list all of these videos as well in the description box um kind of going down memory lane of everything that i've done within the last uh, couple months since having this channel this was the altered playing card uh video that was really really fun you can check that one out this was the folio uh folio video 
and I think I made two. I I made a couple and I, I put two in here. And so you can check out the video for that as well. Everything will be in the description box below. I had so much fun making this. And yeah, it comes with all these little items inside little pockets and what have you. And yeah, I hope uh, the recipient uh, enjoys. And the person who won this is actually uh, Love Isabel uh, 2078 loving isabel 2078 you are the winner and all you need to do is just go ahead and message me my email will also be below to claim it and yeah just send me your mailing address and i will get this to you as soon as possible and so this was also made in my uh wax seal video and i just thought it looked cute with this folio so that's also in there as well there's two of them and this was also made in the wax seal video oh goodness i just threw everything in there i've been um adding to this and i just threw that uh paper on top just to uh cover it for the video but i am gonna be uh putting this together nicely for mailing but yeah this was also in the wax seal video and then i also did a video on um how to like uh send happy mail or like make one of these little envelopes to put like your um washi tapes i mean you can also do this for uh trims or anything like that that you want to wrap around i just laminated these tags and yeah and then just put the uh, washi tape around it and made a little holder so it's just a nice uh way to present your washi tape to uh, the sender right to the recipient um, for some happy mail and so there was that video it would be below this was a really fun one this was an altered priority mail envelope and yeah that was such a huge envelope and when I seen it at uh, the post office I had to get it and I thought how fun would this be to alter it so it's a spring theme uh, altered envelope with lots of pockets and ephemera and fun goodies to to put inside there so i hope you love that isabel and yeah i hope you're able to use a lot of these items and have fun with it and yet yeah, you can put a lot of things in here you can either put pictures or whatever it also does stand up nicely you can open it and just have it like sitting on your desk or wherever you want to put it I think it's really pretty and so inside it's kind of like an ephemera holder you can put a bunch of like little uh, items in here uh, you can put paper scraps you can use it for photos you can put little uh, post-it notes whatever you really want I mean you can also alter this however you like and add to it um, and so yeah I just included a bunch of these little easter springy themed ephemera pieces you know these die cuts and here's another little pocket in the middle here and then here is the end of it you can just add like a photo or anything you want to put there uh decorative and then there's just some more die cuts in here and yeah just lots of uh stuff to create with and i hope you really have fun with this and enjoy again all the information will be in the description box below the winner and what have you i'll also try to do some timestamps to make it a lot easier for people to navigate uh the video as well and so yeah i think this came out really cute and if you want to check out how i made this you can go ahead and uh check out that video and so I added also these summer theme stamps. I thought these were really fun. And yeah, that's in there. I also added uh, these two. Uh, what are these? <laughs> um, journaling cards, right? So we did a journaling uh, card video alter journaling cards and i just decoupaged on these you can go ahead and add to them if you like i kind of left these two plain so that you can go ahead and decorate and embellish as you like on those and then 
here i also have the plan for tomorrow celebrate today erin condren designer sticker book and there's two of these so this is the classic uh collection edition number four and it comes with all of these um nice stickers for your planner and yeah so all the people who <laughs> Uh, follow me or uh, have subscribed because of my planner videos then this is for those peeps <laughs> and I hope you like it and I think Isabel uh, may have found me from the uh, my planner videos and yeah comment in the comments and let me know exactly which video was it your first video that you've seen of mine I'm so interested in knowing as well uh, what drew you to my channel and to subscribing? I know we've we've spoke uh, several occasions in the comment section. So, so yeah. Um, I included uh, these sticker packs here, and I hope you enjoy them and can use them for your planning and what have you. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put all this stuff nicely back in here. And um, if you've made it here to this point and you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like. You can also hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I release a new video. And yeah, I hope you've been enjoying and you can also comment in the comment section below. Also, let me know... Um, you know which was the video that made you subscribe or or you know how you found my my channel or what have you um i was interested in in knowing you know how people are finding my channels and my channel excuse me and um yeah and engaging in comments and what have you and getting to know everyone so again this uh giveaway was for the month of april 2023 I had so much fun with this and I just want to say thank you for all your support and yeah it really means so much to me and thank you for always uh, showing support in the comments and liking my videos and uh, subscribing I really appreciate it thank you so much Isabel I hope you enjoy this and yeah message me email me and I will be sending you this as soon as I get your information and so now I'm gonna go back into uh, the molds and these have now dried overnight so now this is the next day a whole day has passed and I'm checking the molds to see um, if they are dry and it appears that they're not fully dry and I think they need some more time there's uh they're still a little bit wet and so that's when I went and looked at uh exactly how long is this going to take and the bottle actually said two to three days so I thought it was 24 hours I don't know where I thought that I thought maybe overnight I mean you know most of the things will dry overnight right and I also had a fan going and so yeah look this is not dry at all and it started to crack and I just wanted to show you that a bit here like how that kind of looks when it's not fully uh, dry I ended up putting that back in and you can see now I let it dry for a little bit longer but it still wasn't um, complete you can see that one over uh, the book there kind of uh, is dry you can see that it, it lifted and it warped like I was telling you before. But anywho, I wanted to show you this butterfly. You can kind of see the way it came out. You see that that piece cracked. Um, if this happens to you, you can just go ahead and add a little bit more water. And then just apply it back in and let it dry. So real easy, simple fix. No biggie. But yeah, if you're impatient like me, <laughs> that may happen to you. Um, so I was very impatient here as you can see I wanted to see how they all looked and I was really excited like you know all giddy like a little kid and I wanted to see how they came out and boop I broke it right it wasn't gentle and it wasn't dry uh, fully dry just yet and so they will crack on you and I just wanted to show that here 
Um, again, I love to see these type of things happening in videos because a lot of the times um, people don't show like, you know, the things that go wrong. They just show how they get it done the first time. And sometimes in these videos, we may think like, oh, wow, that was quick. But no, it actually uh, takes a lot longer than, you know, however long this video is, what, 30 minutes or so, a little over 30 Um but yeah, this is, uh, like what, two days now of work, you know, um, in the making here. And so, yeah, I want to kind of, uh, be transparent there that, you know, these things do happen and how we can, uh, remedy them, right? How we can fix these, these little hiccups that, you know, do happen. And especially if it's your first time, um, playing around with uh, these specific molds or uh, this specific medium or clay um, you know it does take time to to figure it out and you're not going to get it on your first try maybe not even your second or third um, yeah it's gonna take some practice and so that's what I was doing here I was just playing around with everything you see that one fell out a couple of them just fell out there um, they're still not fully dry at this point and I really do want to wait um, for them to dry at least two to three days as it said on uh, the instructions there on the package and I'm just showing you here how they came out. I think they still look really good. Like the ones, oh my goodness, look at that. That's so beautiful. I can't wait to paint these. And so in my next couple of videos, you're going to see like, um, I'm going to be trying to decorate them and paint them. And then like how I'm going to use them and whatnot with um, these um, upcoming books and collections that I'm planning on doing with this uh, specific uh, collection here. And so you can see I mentioned about warping and that there wasn't enough clay and on that corner it did chip and I tried to put it back with some water and clay and it went it glued right back on but later on I kind of squeezed it and pushed it down because it was warping you can see there wasn't enough clay there and as it dries um yeah it kind of like shrinks so as it's drying the mold is shrinking so you do want to apply enough um there and so that's what i was showing you did kind of crack there and so now i have a quicker method here and that's applying um hot glue to these silicone molds you don't want to try this method with the plastic mold um i did try a little sample on the corner just to see if it you know would warp the mold it is plastic i wouldn't suggest it it didn't warp it but i did not want to risk it and and ruin that plastic i don't think that's very wise i don't think you should use um the hot glue on plastic it could warp and burn it but the silicone um mold here that is just fine it works out great you can apply the hot glue to any kind of silicone mold like this and yeah it'll work out great you can even use a uh, hot wax seals um as well that's another option if you want to try that and you're playing around with wax seals and you have molds you can also uh, do that option and maybe turn them into like little charms or little uh, accessories you know um to go on top of your books or use as ephemera or what have you um, just to embellish right and so I'm going in and filling all of these in with the hot glue and this dries obviously very quickly right we all have uh, played around with hot glue and yeah it dries uh, fairly quickly you may want to shake the mold a little bit. Make sure it gets in every little crevice. Go nice and slow into all those crevices. Kind of mix it around. If you have like a little pick as well, that would be really good to get like a little small toothpick or something like that. And kind of like get into those little crevices. I think that will work really good. I didn't use one here. Um, but yeah, that would be ideal <laughs> um if you do have one to use it and so yeah i just go ahead and fill all these in as you see and i'm gonna kind of compare how this looks to um the clay mold obviously if you want something really quick 
then you can do this way. I wouldn't suggest using hot glue, like I said, in a huge thing like though you know that huge book plate. One, it's just gonna take up so much glue, and uh, this hot glue isn't that uh, cheap, right? Some of them can be a little pricey, and to use that much hot glue, yeah, it just wouldn't make sense. Um, there's other. Uh, more there's other I don't you know there's other things you can use that's obviously um more cost effective and just uh overall you know better to use um in this case but you know if you just want to try this out and you have you know a glue gun and some hot glue um yeah this is just another option that you can do I just wanted to show that and then just kind of compare. I don't get to uh, paint these in, so if you want to see the results for that, um, you'll have to uh, stick around for the next video. Or if you're watching this in the future, I'll go ahead and tag that video below as well. And so here I have some tissue and I'm going to add some water to it. This is another way you can make kind of like a mold. Um, if you don't have any clay or anything like that or the hot glue, this is another option. Most people have tissue lying around. Um, right you you know toilet paper or whatever and a little bit of water and you can either put this in a blender or you can you know break it up with your hands as I'm doing here um, and then you can either add uh, some Mod Podge or like some kind of glue to you know mix in there with it and it kind of forms as like uh, one of these like molding clays and um, yeah I haven't really tried this out um, and I've been wanting to try this out for some time. And so I don't get to do it all here. But you will see this um, in a future video. And I'm going to kind of compare the three methods that I try out here. And yeah, I don't know. This specific glue smelled so toxic. I don't know what was in there. Um, I don't know if someone mixed it with something else. But I don't know. I had to like dump this out and then try it again uh, at a later date. Um, but yeah, you kind of want it to be like a mush and like a liquid kind of form. So stick this in a blender, get it like really liquidy and thick. And yeah, you can try it and put it in there and back in the mold and let it air dry. And so now these are dry and I kind of just wanted to compare real quick um, how these came out. And just show you this is really quick uh to dry right you don't really need to like leave them long you can actually put these in the freezer and um yeah that'll work out as well they, they dry pretty quickly in the freezer um if you'd like and so i'm just going to compare these um to the the clay that uh we previously did those you can see here that i um kind of mixed uh these little corners but if you have any like extra glue sticking out like this you can always just cut around it um and yeah and, like fix that up fix all the uh edges and um so here there are uh side by side in comparison you can kind of see a little bit i think once you actually apply some paint to them you'll really be able to see the difference obviously the clay is more hardened and uh, the glue is more like a gummy like soft feeling but still very sturdy and you can see like the texture and all of that in there. I think when you apply the paint, you'll really be able to see the difference. Um, and yeah, so that broke off. You can just add a little bit of water to attach that back on. Um, they kind of call it like a slip or slip. Yeah, slip. It's just adding um, some water to the uh, clay and mixing it real, real thin and then just applying that on. Kind of like glue, you know, same thing same concept and so i just wanted to show you here again um how this book cover came out and you can see a lot of cracking and so i'm gonna be playing around with this clay and just figure out different like techniques on how to avoid things like that 
you can always add some water and just i think most of all you need to make sure that it dries uh thoroughly and evenly you don't want it to dry too quickly so you don't want to heat you don't want to use a heating tool on it or anything like that um yeah i also seen like people put like bags over it or like some kind of plastic to kind of um let it dry kind of evenly uh yeah i think that's very important just drying evenly and so you can see here like some cracks and what have you i think it looks it gives you like more definition like kind of like that vintage old look if that's what you're going for for i really like that and then you can see this like i could have you know put some more glue in those crevices and maybe you know use a nice little toothpick there and that'll help out with that uh area and so i really hope uh you enjoyed watching um this process and uh stick around for some upcoming videos again don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified anytime i release a new video i really love this collection i can't wait to create some more with it i just wanted to show you real quick how um i remedy these little hiccups when they break and so like i said i was really impatient with this and i kind of took it out uh prematurely and i'm just adding a little bit of water there to glue those pieces on and yeah i have this band-aid on now because i cut myself last night when i was crafting of course i was uh making some journals and i cra i cut myself and so the kids gave me that little band-aid uh unicorn band-aid and so I'm kind of smoothing out her face as you can see there or any little areas just a little bit of water just apply it lightly not too heavy on the water and then here I'm just showing again I'm re-adding those molds and this time I'm using this uh, soda can to just you know flatten that out and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over this time and then squish it down with my hands once more just to make sure that it's really in there um, I want to get all those little nooks and, you know, crannies, all those little corners. And yeah, and so that was the other one, how it came out. Really, really nice. It's not fully dry yet. And yeah, stick around for the next one, guys. I see you later. Bye.